Yeah, it felt good. You know, um, it's always hard sitting out, you know, with injuries. Um, you know, as a competitor, you know, you want to you always play. Uh, but I, I had a feeling, you know, I was going to get, you know, cleared for to be able to play. Uh, this was the kind of the date we had talked about, you know, when I last met with uh, uh, Brent, um, you know, two weeks, two weeks before. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I know that you haven't done it before, but how valuable is it to be able to go to the 905 and get some minutes in before you are back with the Raptors? Yeah, I mean, it's, it'll be good just to, um, you know, get some timing back, get some um, game cardio, game conditioning. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot, uh, but you can't really simulate uh, a game, you know, with, with, you know, five on five, you know, playing against other guys, referees. Um, so it'll be good. Shooting has been up and down with the team over the last few weeks. There was a historically rough night the other night. Uh, how much, as a shooter, how, how much are you kind of looking forward to getting back out there and, and helping the team in that respect? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm ready to help the team in in, in any way you know that that needs be. Um, obviously, yeah, that Miami game was tough. You know, like I said, it's it's hard to to sit out. It's even harder to to sit out as a shooter. You know, um, when we're struggling like that, um, that'll never happen again. <laughs> Going, I think it was six for forty two. Um, I mean, we were getting good looks. It just was one of those nights, you know, shots didn't fall. Um, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm just ready to get back out there and, and help the team any way I can. You being fairly new to the NBA still, how much did you get to learn while you were kind of sit, sitting and forced to watch the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I tried to learn as much as I could. Um, you know, sitting out, there's, there's different things that you can work on. Um, obviously, you know, my mind was one thing I, I definitely worked on. And sitting and watching games, just being up close, you know, not having a jersey on, it's just a different feel. You know, you know, obviously I'm not getting, my number's not getting called to check in. So you can really shut off and, and just try to uh, try to learn. Um, trying to be around some of these guys that have, you know, the vets that have been around the league for a while and learn things from them. Um, and I think in the long run, you know, something like this uh, could actually benefit me. And not off the top of my head. I mean, it's been a lot of things. Uh, just trying to get a lot of little things from from uh, these guys. Anything I can get. Uh, you know, they've a lot of you know. We have all stars on this team. You know, guys that have been in the league for 10 plus years for a reason. You know, and um, I'm just trying to learn everything I can from them. How much of a mental challenge has this injury been? Being able to do that thing on the practice court and feeling like you can play but not being yeah. able to. It's hard, you know. I've had I've had injuries before, though. You know, I I know how it works. Um, this one specifically, you know, with with just a finger um, on my non-shooting hand, it, it was tough, you know, because uh, there was a point, you know, a few weeks ago where I could start doing things, you know, with a pretty heavy splint on. Uh, you know, you know, you feel like you can play, but um, obviously the the risk uh, of it of getting re-injured and then potentially needing needing surgery if it got, you know. Uh, uh, aggregated again, and it would—it just wasn't worth it. Uh, but no, it was—it was tough. Like I said, as a competitor, I want to be out there, so I'm happy now. You know, the time's up, and I'm ready to go. Yeah, we—we we got hit kind of with the injury bug uh, so far this season, but uh, it's something you know comes with the game. It's part of the territory. Uh, you just have to play through it, and um, you can't feel sorry for ourselves. Um, you know, and no, no other team's going to. You know, they're going to come in here trying to beat us. Um, they don't care who, you know, what product we have on the court. So we have to be ready. Everyone, all, all 15, 17 of us have to be ready uh, to play. And, um, you know, hopefully we can fully, you know, all of us get back healthy here soon. Does it help to have the 905 as an option before you get back into the Yeah, that's what, you know, Blake had just asked. You know, it's nice to be able to go and do that, uh, you know, before I, you know, play tomorrow. Uh, just uh, to get some game conditioning and um, game shots and just game reps um, in before I'm, you know, back playing for real. You plan to play tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. It's kind of an odd question, but how'd you get involved with the Nutcracker and doing that? Kyle asked me to do it or told me I was doing it with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was a fun experience though. Um, I had no idea really what I was getting myself into. Uh, both Kyle and I would were, were definitely out of our element with that. Uh, but it was fun. Uh, it, was a, it was a fun. I'll, I'll remember that for a while. Thanks, cool. Thanks, guys.